Hey guys, Dan with Grit Overland. We're sitting here in a Link 148 all-wheel drive in our shop parking lot. Um, I wanted to talk about aftermarket alternators. It's very common in our industry, in the RV market for camper vans to install a secondary alternator, whether it's a Balmar, a Nations, um, Lithionics, whatever other brand out there, there's a bunch of them. Um, one of the things that we hate about camper vans is secondary alternators, or rather an aftermarket secondary alternator. They have charging problems, they have thermal events, they have communication uh, cable issues, and there's a lot of problems that go along with that when it comes to them being the primary charging source for your RV electrical system. How we've eliminated it, because it is a great idea. We order two stock Ford alternators from the factory, so the Ford brain controls those two alternators, and our battery takes the energy that it's given, up to 200 amps of charging, to our system. So we love alternator charging. We do not love secondary alternators. They just have too many issues and problems. And the way we've solved that is just by ordering them direct from the factory. The next question you're probably gonna throw in the comments down there is, are they powerful enough? Yes. Each one of those alternators from Ford is 250 amps. It is more than enough power. So actually this van can push off 500 amps and it's on an EcoBoost twin turbo motor, so there's plenty of torque, plenty of power for both the Ford chassis and the Grit Overland electrical system. You guys, hope this helps. Hope this answers questions. If you have more questions, throw them in the comments. We're more than happy to answer them, uh, and we love the interaction. Thank you very much for following our channel.